Zotac has announced the start of pre-orders for its Zone portable device, which will run PC games as well as ROG Ally, Steam Deck, and Legion Go. One of the extra pieces of information revealed about the device is that its display will be AMOLED, and it will sell for the premium price of $799. One of the most eye-catching features is that the price is the same as that of the ROG Ally X, Asus's most recent portable model, and it comes with a smaller memory, 24GB in the ROG Ally X compared to 16 in the Zodac, and reduced storage. With 1TB in the ROG Ally X compared to 512GB. However, Zotac will bring some features that are not present in the others, which goes a little beyond its display. It will come with the AMD Ryzen 7 8840U APU, which has an NPU and enables the use of artificial intelligence, and AMD itself is taking care of its drivers, unlike the others, which are supplied by the manufacturers. This means that this console should have no problem emulating even PS3. In addition, the company has announced that when it arrives it will already have support for fluid motion frames and Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which is not even mentioned in the other devices we see on the market. These could be interesting differentiators for consumers, although the final price of the product is not so attractive. AMD Fluid Motion Frames, or AFMF, is a frame generation technology designed to increase frame rates and smooth out movement for optimum gaming performance. AFMF uses state-of-the-art frame generation technology and integrates it directly into the AMD software driver. Even better, AFMF is included in HYPRRX, so gamers simply need to activate HYPRRX to automatically enable performance-driven features that will boost FPS and responsiveness. Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or AMD FSR, is an upscaling technology. In other words, it increases the resolution of the game image. It uses artificial intelligence to increase the resolution of games without loss of quality, improving visual quality and performance. In this way, it is possible to achieve an increase in the FPS rate, i.e., more performance but without sacrificing the graphic quality of the games. In practice, the game is rendered by the video card in a lower resolution, 1080p for example, and using various artificial intelligence techniques the game is displayed in 4K. These features are especially important for a portable device, where efficiency and graphics quality are crucial for a good gaming experience. With these technologies, the Zotac Zone promises to offer superior performance compared to competitors such as the ROG Ally X and Steam Deck. We'll have to wait and see, of course. Returning to Zodac in terms of specifications, Zotac revealed that the Zone device will feature an AMD APU with 8 cores and 16 threads, achieving boosts of up to 5.1 GHz. It also uses the Radeon 780Mi GPU, the RDNA3 with 12 computing units. As previously mentioned, it will feature 16 GB of LPDDR5X memory and 512 GB of M2 PCI4 storage which will apparently be the only option available at launch. The device will have a IHS South Dakota card port to expand this, if desired. The AMOLED display of the Zotac Zone laptop is 7 inches, with 1080p resolution and a refresh rate of 120Hz. According to the manufacturer, it has 800 nits of peak brightness. In addition, the device has Hall Effect buttons, dual touchpads and two USB 4 ports. The control configuration is another highlight. The device has Hall Effect sensors in the triggers and analog sticks which increase precision and prevent drift problems. Drift problems in controllers is a common term used when the joystick of a controller no longer responds accurately to your input or when it moves or oscillates on the screen without touching it. The two-stage adjustable triggers allow for greater customization of the gameplay experience while the dual trackpads make it easier to navigate in games that require the use of a mouse. The manufacturer will be launching it during Gamescom 2024, which takes place in Germany from today, August 21st, until August 25th. Well folks, that's it. Let me know what you expect from this console and whether competitors should be worried. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing and see you in the next video.